Hi, I'm Claire and welcome to British Rowing's Go Row Indoor Workout Class number three. Okay, we're going to set up the machines. You need to make sure your foot plate is in the right place so that when you put your foot in, the strap is across the balls of your feet. I want you to make sure your damper lever is on four or below and that the monitor is up at your eye level so that it encourages you to sit up tall. Once you're ready, you can place your feet in. Make sure they're in securely. Take hold of the handle and we're going to start with a four minute warm up. Nice steady rating of 20. Let's go. The warm up's just a chance to get the whole body moving, refine the technique, get nice and warm ready for the session. We're going to focus on sitting up tall. Technique sequence. Legs, body, arms on the drive. So the legs start, the body leans back, and the arms pull through. And the recovery on the way back up is the exact opposite. Arms first, then the body, and then the legs. Nice and smooth, really relax into it. Keeping the upper body nice and relaxed. And driving on the legs. As this is a warm up, I'm going to take the rating up just a little bit and take it up to 22 in five seconds. Now we go up. Just add a little squeeze in the legs. Try and keep the recovery relaxed and controlled. Just moving a bit quicker on the drive. That's it, looking good. And now we take it up to 24. Now we need a bit more of a squeeze on the legs, starting to find some power, keeping it fluid. Good. Excellent work. Slow it back down, back to rating 20. Moving through the motions. That got the heart rate up a little bit. Gets the blood pumping. Good work. Still sitting tall. Trying to get a long stroke, but don't overreach. Making sure the legs pick up the weight and drive it through. Just going to be here a little bit longer, maximizing the warm up time. One more stroke and relax there for a second. Okay, warm, ready for interval number one. We're going to do a 100 meter sprint on the minute, every minute for four minutes. If you reset your screen to just row 
and when you see your meters tick to 100, stop rowing. We get the rest of the minute off, start again on the next one, four times. As hard and as fast as you want to go. When we're ready, let's pick up the handle, sitting up tall and strong. Let's do this. Go. 100 meters. That's all you've got to cover. Long strokes, strong strokes. Good. Working the legs. Well done. You get the rest of the minute off. So just breathe and recover. You will notice that your meters will have ticked on a bit. Make sure when you do the next set, you start counting from that number. Don't just go up to 200 because that's cheating. Feeling all right? Good. Ten seconds. Okay, in three, two, one, go. 100 meters. Driving three. That's it. Long strokes, strong strokes. Get the distance done. Well done. Two down, two to go. Just breathe and relax in this bit. Enjoy the rest. Okay. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Third set, penultimate drive. Looking good, sitting tall, driving through. Well done, one left, that's all it is. And then we can shake it up with some other exercises. Big deep breaths. This one's the hard one. As in, we push hard, we work for it. In five, three, two, one, go. Last time, pushing. That's it, control the recovery, work the drive. All the way through. And we're done. Well done. Okay. Have a little moment. The circuit is quite intense. 30 seconds of hard rowing, not that hard, but strong rowing. 30 seconds of squat jumps, three times over. So we're just gonna move through it nice and quickly. Minute of plank. Same set, different exercise, but we've got this. It's easy. Uh, take hold of the handle. Hard rowing, control the slide, not too, too high a rating. Off we go, 30 seconds. Get a nice long stroke. Feel like we're working, but at a level that we can maintain for the whole of this set.
One more. And relax. Step off your machine. Squat jumps, if you can. Feet shoulder width. You squat down, you jump. And you just don't stop. If you need to, hold it in a squat. 30 seconds, let's go. Making sure you sink down to drive up. Weight stays in the heels. Knees stay over toes. Feeling the burn. Nearly there. And relax. Well done, set one. Thirty more seconds of rowing. Set two of squat jumps. Let's go. Strong drive in the legs. Control in the core. Just one more. Excellent, that's your 30. Back off for round two. Ready, steady, go. Squat jumps again. Like I say, if you need to, take it down a level to squats. But if you can, it's a good challenge and it develops the power as well as the strength in your legs. One more. Well done. Third set. Right, off we go. 30 seconds. If you need to, take this steady. We're working the legs hard now. It's good fitness, but you need to know your limits. You push beyond your comfort zone, working yourself. Last one. Excellent. Final set of squat jumps. Let's just get them done. Ready? Off we go. 30 seconds. That's all it is. Pushing through the burn. 10 left. Seconds, that is not reps. Last one. Well done. Okay. Little filler. Time to get your breath back. Plank position. You're going to come down next to your machine. Elbows and toes or elbows and knees. Just lock the body in nice and strong. Okay one minute we've got of this starting now so make sure your body is long and flat we don't want the hips dipped we don't want the hips lifted pulling belly button to spine and breathing this is meant to be our recovery active recovery best phrase ever If you start to shake, it's not a bad thing. If you need to drop to your knees, you can do so. Keep the core engaged. Otherwise, just mind over matter. Push through on the toes. Got 
10 seconds left. Well done, relax there. Back on the rowing machine. This time, three sets like we did before, but not with squat jumps. I'll show you the exercise when we get there. It's a surprise. Okay. Right, let's go, 30 seconds. Strong rowing, it doesn't have to be fast, but get the weight in the legs. You're gonna need your core more for the next exercise. It's not quite as intense on your legs. Last one. Good stuff. Plank, hike. Two options. You're either next to your machine, on your hands, in a plank, and then you just lift the hips and level it off. And up and down. The alternative, if you want the challenge, feet on the seats, hands on the floor, and you use your core to lift. 30 seconds, your core. Ready, steady, go. So really focusing on the level out. That's the bit where you need to control the hips. Don't dip them, keep them level. Good work, 10 seconds. And relax there. Excellent, hop back on the machine. Second load of rowing. Off we go. Like I said, that exercise is more about your core, so you can get your leg work out here now. Good work, nice squeeze. And relax there. Same exercise, second round. I'm gonna join you guys this time. Hands under shoulders, 30 seconds starts now. So just lifting the hips. Really feel like it's the core that draws the hips up rather than your legs pushing your bum in the air. Level off nice and strong. We've only got one more set of this afterwards. And relax. Good stuff. Last 30 seconds. Off we go. If you're noticing your core is getting tired, just really think about sitting up tall. The body lean is from the hips. The back stays strong. Last stroke. Put the handles down. One last time. I'm going back on it. 30 seconds, starts now. Really focus on the core. It helps to activate it if you think about the muscle you want to use.
Nearly there. Last rep. And relax. Cool, have a little seat. That's the end of the circuit. 20 seconds hard rowing. 20 seconds just move through. 20 second burst to finish. Sitting tall, sitting strong, going from the word go. Ready? Go. Drive it. It's only 20 seconds. That's all it is. Pushing through. Working hard. And relax. Easy rowing for 20 seconds. Moving through the motions, no pressure. The last burst is a fast burst. I love that they rhyme. In three, two, one, 20 second push. Let's go. On the legs, controlled. That's it, we're nearly there. And relax. Well done. Let's just roll straight into the cool down, which is one minute of light rowing. It's where we are already. Just moving through those motions. Loosening up everything that you've used today. Really thinking about the technique, making sure you bed it in for next time. Done well today. That was hard. One more, and you can relax it down there completely. Just gonna run through a few little stretches so you can stand off your machine. We're gonna start with a quad stretch. If you want to hold on, you can. Otherwise, just balance one foot up behind. Keep the knees in line, hips level. Feel the stretch down the front of the leg. All right? Good. Excellent, let's swap that over. Time to breathe. Excellent. Hamstring stretch, so one foot out in front and just lean back, feel the stretch down the back of the straight leg. Just push the hips back a bit further if you don't feel it deep enough. And swap that one over. Last stretch for your glutes. One ankle on the opposite knee and just sink down into the hip stretch. You should feel it in the outside of the bent leg. And swap that one over. Is you done? Good work, guys. Thanks.